Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And also, if you guys are interested, if it is easier for you to watch these streams on Twitch, you can go follow me over there as well. All the links are down in the description. If you guys would like to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, please go visit my Patreon page. You can read through that. I took a lot of time putting that together, so I'd really appreciate it. Even if you don't uh, donate anything on Patreon, I just really appreciate your support of this channel in general, even if you just keep watching the videos. So please keep that up, and also... If you want to follow Cody H Gaming on Facebook or Twitter, I am on both of those as well. And now that that is all out of the way, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Jeff Bodine's 1987 Charlotte flip. One of the rare blowovers on a mile and a half track. So this one's going to be a bit tricky. And unfortunately, there's not much of a replay other than the little clip you saw on the wait screen. So we don't even really have to watch any replay. Here we have Jeff Bodine's 1987 number 5 car that we're going to be using. We're using the the Aero 88 mod that has the cup physics because we want to go as fast as possible. Try to do a blowover, obviously. And unfortunately, I haven't yet converted the 1987 car set over to the cup physics, so we're just going to use the 1988. Not that important. It's mainly Jeff Bodine's car we're focused on anyway. And making the AI cars really slow, I'll explain why in a second. As you can see, we're using Charlotte 1991. That's the basically the closest year I could find. And like usual, whenever I'm trying to do a blowover, especially at a short track like this, gonna have to turn the track temperature way down, so that's gonna help with the aerodynamics of getting upside down, getting some air under the car. So we're just gonna do a full lap around, and as you saw, he was coming out of the quad oval when he was flying through the infield. Got airborne through the grass, Flipped upside down once, slid on his roof for a bit, and then landed back on his wheels going into turn one. So right around the start-finish line, we're just going to turn left and downshift. Ouch. Got drilled by Rusty Wallace. All right, so at least we saw I could almost get upside down for the most part. And the reason I have the AI difficulty so down, turned down so high, or so low, is because if I have it turn up any higher, they're going to be flying around the track at probably 220 miles an hour because of the way the track settings are. So I got airborne in just about the right spot. Unfortunately, there's no camera angle built into the track that's similar to the one we saw. All right, but I did do this so I can just pop this up. So you can see that he's getting airborne and upside down right around this spot so that was pretty close he's getting airborne kinda going across this road I just kinda need to dig in and flip once on my kinda tumble once and land on my roof sliding otherwise that wasn't too bad need to turn this off not a terrible first attempt My throttle is being really annoying. You can just hear it kind of flickering. It almost sounds like my engine is damaged, but no, it's just my throttle being stupid with my shitty dusty pedals.
Nope, not quite that time. As you can see, I'm downshifting to reverse to try to spin on purpose through the infield. And we got a flip. A 44 car tumbling down the banking. Is that Sterling Marlin? Limit 60. Keep it under 4,500. How is everyone doing? Thanks for joining in. I see we just got past 20 watchers. Which for me as of recent is a lot. Nexus Combat, Ryan, Eli, 8-Bit. The Jake channel, thanks for joining. I'm gonna try to power through the quad oval as fast as possible. Downshift. Oops. And maybe try again with the same car. Power through the quad oval and right around the start finish line, spin myself out. And hopefully, get airborne at the right spot. Nope. Holy hard crash. Two really hard hits into the outside wall and then that opening the pit road wall. Since I already blew reverse, it didn't have the same effect. I blew the gear for reverse the previous attempt. Ouch. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4,500. Keep it Tomorrow, at the same time, I'm going to be attempting Mike Skinner's 2009 wreck in the truck series at Charlotte. I don't have the exact same paint scheme, so forgive me in advance when you join the stream tomorrow and the paint scheme isn't exact. It's close, but it's not the exact correct one. So I couldn't find it for the mod I'm going to be using. Right. Not good enough. Need to be maybe be going just a tad slower. I kind of need to dig into the grass right as I'm coming back under the track and tumble over once onto my roof. But I was I was kind of in the same spot. I just maybe need to be going a tad slower, and digging in and flipping over onto my roof that way will slow me down, so I won't go as far into turn one by the time I hopefully flip back onto my wheels. Yes, Nexus Combat, I did see that wreck. I will have to try that in the future. I had never seen that one before. That hard hit to the inside wall in the back stretch. Got up in the air a little bit. Yeah, I had never seen that one. Basically the exact same as last time. Oh, it's not even worth a replay. I need to get slowed down maybe just a tad bit before I spin myself around. So I'm almost going too far up in the air. And to kind of dig in with the side of my car right before I'm going back on the track. Oh, we got some traffic coming up behind me. We're going way faster than we would be around this era with these cars, even with the cars now. Nope, not quite. My car didn't spin around as much as I would have liked it to when I downshifted that time. I 
Let's try a attempt in the cockpit view. With our supersonic speed cars in the Arctic temperatures, negative 90 degrees. <laughs> and I do have the grip turned up a little bit, if you couldn't tell. Whoops. Keep it off the wall. I saved that. Kind of. Holy crap, Rusty is taking a f tumble. What else is new? Alright, we're gonna have to try that again, but first I need to look at what the hell happened. The 97 got turned into a helicopter. Rusty Wallace is gonna come in here. Here we go. Oh, he hit the banking and started, or the wall and started flipping on his own. Ouch. Alright, let's try that again. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4,500. Let's go flying through pit road at full speed. Oh, holy crap, that was close. Oops. Alright, we got a clean shot this time. Power for the quad over right around the start finish line. Downshift. Oh, darn it, that was close from what I saw. But no cigar. Not quite. Obviously, whoa, the steering wheels turned the wrong way. Right, let's go back to chase view. I know you guys like this view better for the can I recreate. I obviously like the cockpit view better for racing and whatnot. It's more what I'm used to. But I do like this view better for the can I recreate. Because then you can see who's all around me and if I need to wreck on purpose where the other car's bumper is that I need to turn into. Damn it. Maybe I need to turn the, ouch, the grass grip up just ever so slightly. Maybe it'll help send me over if I hit the grass up the right way, if I have the grip turned up a little bit. I mean, they're not getting airborne enough, or I'm getting too airborne and I'm just flipping all the way over right away. Haven't hit that sweet spot yet where I kind of go airborne, but then kind of come back down hard enough to tumble me over once. Still nothing. Try this one again. Except I'll have to downshift into first instead of reversed. First instead of reversed. Jesus, Cody, you're stupid sometimes. <laughs> I already blew out reverse, so I'm gonna have to downshift using a different gear this time if I want to spin myself out. I'll try first. Come on. Oh, damn it. I might have to turn the grass grip up just a little bit. Still don't know how quite how this wreck got started. <clears throat> I remember the commentator saying he was coming up on some slower cars. Because obviously the replay cuts into him already sliding through the grass. So I'm guessing he either just got loose and flew through the infield. Coming up on some slower lapped cars or he clipped one of them. Either way, we know how it ended. 
Come on. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. Except I need to do that without hitting the wall. And spinning around so much. But that's kind of what I was going for. Getting airborne, but then coming down and tumbling over once and going onto my roof afterwards. I was even kind of sideways when I hit the... But yeah, you kind of... Before I hit the wall, that's kind of what I had going for. That tumble, and then onto the roof. Except I don't know if I would have stayed on my roof if I didn't hit the wall. That's kind of what spun me around. So not bad, but not edit-worthy yet. I definitely know that the settings are pretty close to what I need. So it's just a matter of getting a lucky enough attempt. Because I'm able to get airborne basically every single time. Upside down basically every other time. Just a matter of getting a lucky enough attempt. Maybe I need to try switching down to reverse again. Or, nah, uh, first, I mean. I've been downshifting to reverse to spin myself out. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna try first this time. See if that has any better effect. Not quite. Well, I think my car was just a little bit damaged from the previous lap, so it might have been slowing me down just a little bit. I love how much these cars are just flying through these turns. especially for the cars of this era. Holy shit, that was a big wreck. Once again, Rusty Wallace, he is not having good luck in this stream, is he? That's like the third major wreck he's been involved in. Now that was a huge one. Now I tumbled. I kind of dug in with my side and tumbled onto my roof, but except I tumbled a few too many times. Damn. Let's get a spectator view of that. Jeez. All right, next. Limit 60. Keep Oops. it under 45. That dude's really close. Seconds. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4500 Oops. That turned a little too wide. Yeah, should I save that one and edit it right next to the original? I don't think all the CCM in the world could disguise how off from the original wreck that one was. Uh oh. Ouch. Drilled by Derek Cope. And he got hit. Now everyone else is wrecking. And we got Rusty Wallace upside down again. Jesus. This game is more realistic than you'd like to think. Sending Rusty Wallace upside down every other wreck. 
Limit 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. <laughs> Stuck on that guy. No! Whoops. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear for the light. Oh, we got a slow rookie rud down there. How about that drift? spawn this time. So we're gonna have to downshift into first. Clear outside. Outside. Damn it. <laughs> An extra flip at the end. I slid for too long, I hit the wall, I had an extra tumble at the end, I didn't quite start flipping the right way. That one's no good. Keep it under right, let's try that again. Next! So we've had some fairly close ones so far. Oh. We got cars crashing in turns one, apparently. One and two. Whoops. That one actually wasn't half bad until all that happened. Hey, guess who it was again? Rusty Wallace. <laughs> you all right? Still need to figure out a way to get airborne enough, but like scrub off enough speed when I actually flip to not go too far into turn one by the time I finally flip back over on my wheels after I'm done sliding upside down. drove the 72 car. And the 27 and the 2, obviously. Could have been a lot worse, but I still want to scrub off a little bit more speed while actually flipping so I don't kind of drift up to that outside wall so far. It's 
Still is going a little too fast. I to go fast enough to get airborne, but not so fast I go way too far down into turn one. Hello, Rusty. We meet again. Oh, you bastard. That's kind of my fault. Does that count as a save? Not counting that part at the end there. And I technically barely hit the wall. That thing didn't have that hard of a hit down on the pavement. Well, that would have bent up the nose. Damn. <laughs> Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Oh. A little squirrely there. Oh, that was close. So was that. And so was that. So was that. <laughs> All right, so we can get a nice big drafting line. Oops, a little too hot into that turn. Darn it. Close. How the hell did Bill Elliott get through that? And Rusty Wallace is involved in the other, another wreck. <laughs> I want to look at that onboard from Bill Elliott with a roof cam. Can you imagine that in a 3D shot? Just flying out of the pits at 160 miles an hour. Casually. Oh. Good thing the grip is turned up so high, otherwise I would be wrecking every five seconds. Not when I wanted to. Come on. I saw that coming from a mile away. Well, that was definitely no good. Keep it under sixty. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. I did not mean to do that. Alright, so for anyone new that might be joining in right now, this is what I'm going for. Trying to do a blow over through the quad oval. Land on my roof, slide a little bit, and go back on my, my wheels just before entering turn one. So if there's anyone new joining in, doesn't know what I'm trying to reenact, that is what I am going for, and I need to re-spawn my car, because I just killed it in the inside wall right there.
Oh, loosey goosey. Once again, I started flipping exactly how I want to. I just flipped too many times. Got airborne. Was airborne going sideways? And then I dug into the grass and then tumbled over right there. But I need to, like, tumble a little bit sideways so I don't keep tumbling. I just stay on my roof. And then I can slide down the banking. And then, like, right a little bit back here, I need to slide or flip back over onto my wheels. Through the grass, like right here, works last time a little bit better. Whoa. Alright, I think that's a good spot to spin because bo both times in a row, right before I come back onto the track, I'm able to just clip the grass enough at a right enough angle to. Tip me over onto my roof, except I hit the wall first that time. Keep it under 60. Keep it under in so I think I'm gonna follow those tire marks and flip it. Spin at exactly that path, and hopefully I'll keep being able to just barely dig into the grass when I'm coming back onto the track. And one of these times I'll hopefully be lucky enough to stay on my roof and be slowed down enough to not go too far into turn one and hopefully land back onto my wheels without tumbling any more times. Then I can save it, edit it, and publish it. I mean, I'll take a flip like that since you can't really see too much details of what's going on in the rollover through the smoke in the replay. So I'll take just a straight up blow over like that if it looks good as long as the second half of it can look good too. If I scrub off a decent amount of speed, if I don't go up and hit that outside wall, if I don't go too far down into turn one, if I don't flip over any additional times, and if I, well, except for me going back onto my wheels, that's the only other time I need to flip over. But yeah, ideally I'm trying to go for that flip where I get airborne, slam back down, kind of dig in, and then it tumbles me over once. But if I can get a otherwise perfect looking attempt where it's just a regular blow over to start with, I'll still take it. Oh, we're into the catch fence. We are into the catch fence. Red flag for repairs to the fence. Wait for it. Almost got over the fence there. Going through it there. Ouch. That's the best reenactment I've ever done. Oops. Sorry, Terry. That's a good question. I'm always trying to improve my editing, obviously, which e with each one I do. Obviously, trying to get better at the reenactments in general with each one I do, but I feel, still feel like the best one I've ever pulled off in terms of just how close in, like, every aspect 
the wreck was. In my opinion, was Rusty Wallace's 93 Dega flip. I mean, the AI looked a little bit computerized, packed together in the pack, but other than that, the blowover is spot on. Ernie Irvin's leading when the wreck happens and crosses the finish line first. Earnhardt's the one that spins me. So yeah, I'd say that's the Rusty Wallace 93 Dega flip is probably my the reenactment I'm most proud of. I've gotten had a few cents on where I've, the editing I've probably been more proud of than that one. But in terms of my favorite reenactment in terms of the wreck or whatever I'm reenacting being spot on, I'd say yeah, it's probably that one. And we're almost 40 minutes into this one already. Doesn't even seem like that long. Ricky Rudd. There's two Rusty Wallaces. What is this madness? I just realized that. <laughs> There's two of them. And they're coming back after me to get their revenge for all the hard wrecks he's had in this video. Not quite into the fence again. That's going to be a big pile up. Yep, someone's flipping. Looks like Brett Bodine. You all right? My brother. Stealing my thunder. For you guys watching this live right now, I really appreciate all your suggestions. I'd love to hear them. Just try to save them for after the video's done being live and the the regular comment section pops up. I can see them way easier there. And then that way people can thumbs up each other's comments as well. So I'm totally for all your suggestions. Just try to save them for the comment section after the video's done being live. I can see them way easier that way, and you guys can upvote each other so I can see which the more popular suggestions are. Exiting the pits fail. The two Rusties racing right next to each other. They're like guarding each other. <laughs> That's weird. Come on. One of these times I have to get lucky. Nope. Keep it off the wall. You bastard. Bobby Hillen Jr. pair of glasses. This one is pair is literally duct taped together. Sorry, Richard. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4500 in seconds. Watch that speed Stuck to the wall. God damn it. Yeah. A couple of these, the initial flip has been really close, but I've never been able to finish out a perfect attempt yet. Come on. Oh, that was almost perfect. Damn it. That was almost the perfect way I need to flip, though. 
And I'm sideways, airborne through the grass. Then right before I come back onto the track, I need to dig in and flip onto my roof and slide on my roof a little bit there, which I almost did. Just started to spin just a little too early. Keep it under 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Watch that feet now. Keep it on 4,500 in seconds. Okay, we're clear of headlights. Don't work yet. <sighs> Close. But close only counts in horse grenades. <laughs> I think that's an... Andy Dwyer quote, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. Didn't slide on my roof for long enough. The blowover wasn't quite good. So I got hit. All right, this is going to be it. I can feel it. This is going to be the one right here. Or not. Ouch. Whoops. Keep it under sixty. Keep it under. Damn, that guy's pit stall is close to mine. Limit sixty. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on forty five hundred in seconds. Gotten so many close ones in this attempt, just for this video. There's no perfect attempts. Damn it. Damn it. Keep it off the wall. Fuck. <laughs> to go flying through the air, land back down safely, have it saved, and then just back into the wall at 20 miles an hour and bust up your car that way. There's something embarrassing about that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, good. Alright, I'll use the same car. <laughs> Except I'll have to downshift into first this time. Instead of reverse. Side by side battle with Rick Wilson. Damn it. Holy hell, Dale Jarrett. Where's your brakes? And there goes Terry Labonte. Jesus. Just a massacre in turn Got one. one. Up high. Got one stopped up high. And look who's involved again. One of the Rusty Wallaces. 
Limit 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4,500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Knowing my luck, I'm going to get a perfect attempt. Everything's going to be flawless, but then right before I'm about to go back on my wheels, I'm just going to get drilled by an AI car. It's funny, up until I flipped back over onto my wheel or, uh, roof a second time there, that one wasn't going to be half bad. That's what sucks. Just when I was talking about how I might get a decent attempt where everything would be. So I almost need to flip like that to slow me down before I get to turn one. God damn it. Limit 60. Keep it under 4,500 in seconds. Speaking of flipping, a little Michael Waltrip. Perfect attempt, but then that's gonna happen. Keep it under sixty. Keep it under forty five hundred in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on forty five hundred in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Still might need to turn the grass grip up a little bit. I don't know if that would help or not. At least getting upside down for the most part hasn't been an issue. It would have been if I didn't know about this mod with cup physics. If I was still using the... Jesus. Rick Wilson just took one of the hardest flips I've seen probably this video. Watch the ride the number four took. That hit by Richard Petty is what really did it. Damn. I haven't even cracked this open yet. Streams have been going on for 50 minutes. I haven't even... Cracked open a cold one with the boys yet. It's kind of a warm one now. So it's been like three or four catch fence wrecks now so far this stream. Not just me. Rick Wilson got into the catch fence in that last one. Pits are in the pits right now. Oh, Buddy Baker. That was close.
Come on, one of these times I have to get lucky. Come on. Bastard. Keep it off the wall. Fuck. I like, climbed the wall that time. Limit 60. Keep it under 45. Porta lube. Did I read that right? What YouTubers do I watch? That's a good question. I kind of go through cycles. I'm watching a few really random ones right now. Aside from my usual fellow racing gamers I check in on. TNT man. Fucking shoot, shoot. Whoa, that was close. TNT man, empty box. Uh, Jeff F, I can't even remember how to pronounce his. The Australian dude. I can't even remember how to pronounce his damn last name right now. Aside from all those usual guys, I've been binging a bunch of old uh, Opie and Anthony archive episodes, mainly ones that have Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, eh, Burr, or Louis C.K. There's a sports channel I like called That's Good Sports slash That's Good Broncos, which I know as a Packers fan is weird for me to like, but the dude just hilarious. Makes really has really good humor, is really witty. Makes hilarious fucking videos. See so yeah, it all it all changes frequently who I'm watching at the time. Going on, guys. This is empty box. <laughs> is that a terrible impersonation? There's a couple other guys I try to get onto and uh try to like their videos as often as I can, like uh N2CS4R. I try to stop over and check his out whenever I can, if I have some time. I try to support my fellow racing gaming YouTubers out. The Sim Pit. I think I'm subscribed to. Alright guys, unfortunately, since it's approaching the top of the hour, I do have to get going soon, so this will probably be the third to last attempt. Do a little bit of messing around, and then I gotta get going. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging in there. Once again, I'd love to hear your suggestions for future videos. Just try to hang on to them till the video's done processing, then you can put them down in the comments so I can see them easier and you guys can thumbs up each other's suggestions. Win-win for everyone. See, once again, that one wasn't going to necessarily be terrible, but I got hit by a fucking car. So like I said, I would take a regular blowover just like that if every other aspect of the wreck is perfect, but... Oh yeah, Real Radman I check out every now and then too. God damn it. Alright, two to go. I have not done the 1979 Daytona 500 finish. That's a good suggestion. I know I've gotten asked to do it a bunch of times, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I know there's a car set that exists out there somewhere. Surprisingly for this game, there isn't too many mods that accurately represent the middle-slash-later 1970s era cars. But I do believe there's... I believe for the SNCS 70 mod, there's a car set that exists out there. For 1979 cars. Limit 60. Keep it under 
Whoa. Yeah, aside from all the regular racing YouTube gamers I try to follow, yeah, just a bunch of different. Mainly, aside from the racing gaming stuff, my fellow YouTubers I follow, it's mainly comedy, podcast, stand-up comedy stuff, and sports stuff. Like football, mainly. Is mainly the stuff I am on YouTube for. And obviously my own streams. God damn it! That one was gonna be decent until Dale came along and fucked things up. Look at that pile up. Look at that pile up. I thought more cars were gonna come flying in. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to do a part two, because a couple of those got close, but none of them were ever perfect. Alright, so let's do a little bit of wrecking at your guys' favorite track, one of my favorite tracks. My modded version of Talladega 70s, 80s. Frisky Nixon's a good one. WTF moments in NASCAR, all his other lists and compilations, I like those. Right, let's get into race right away. I mean, there's tons of other YouTubers I watch, I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Excuse me. Still, I have a very long to-do list, but I still, one of the things on my to-do list is to eventually hit up TNT Man and see if he'd be interested in some sort of collaboration video slash videos, like 50 ways to reenact an NR2003, something combining both of our styles that we could put together. Oh. Good thing I got through that initial one because there's going to be a few more wrecks. Definitely not done yet. Whoa. Flipped out of the ballpark. Watch out. Watch out. Jeez. <laughs> he just barely made it through. That was one of the one time where I've almost flipped over from a blowover in the super high banking of Daga or Daytona. Drivers, stop your engines. <sighs> Couple more times to try to evade the biggest wreck ever. Is it now? I want them to get like at least one full lap and just have a massive, massive wreck in the trioval. Well, that ain't gonna happen. I might be under caution, but the rest of the field isn't. I 
in an awkward moment when a caution comes out before you even cross the start line. Excuse me. Really? No more wrecks from these guys? gonna go backwards once and then I gotta get going I might I can't guarantee but I might do a random I racing or race on here or a dirt to Daytona live stream later tonight I can't make any guarantees it's only if I have enough free time and I'm awake enough but I also do have that one scheduled for tomorrow at 5 I'll try to schedule one for Saturday uh, Friday I'm going to be on call for my video job on Friday, so I might have to leave. And Saturday, I'm going to be busy all day. So Saturday, probably no stream, but Sunday. Depending on when the Packer game and the NASCAR race interlaps, I might try to stream my reaction to both. They're already wrecking. You got a slow car down low. I might have to try that again when the AI cars haven't wrecked first. So I think like the last third of the pack was already crashing in turns too. Jeez. Well, that's one way to take out half the field. All right, once more. One more time and I gotta get going. One more time. Let's see if they're actually still in one giant pack by the time they're coming out of turn two. And that's why you pay attention to the video. You don't look at the chat too much while you're driving at least. things are getting real when my computer starts lagging from a crash. <laughs> he just took out the 55, whoever that was. Surprisingly, it wasn't really any money f flips until, lo and behold, Rusty Wallace got in the banking. How many times has he rolled over and taken a hard hit in this stream? Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let me know your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter if you want to follow me on social media. Follow me on Twitch as well if it's more convenient for you to watch these streams that way. Also, if you want to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, please go check out my Patreon page down in the description. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy 
for your support on there. I really appreciate it, man. And that's about it. Thanks again for everything, guys. Hope to catch you next time. Until then, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.